Hello world! What I'm really after with all this is social change. So how does one create social change through video? You don't. You can't. There's nothing that I can make you do. The only thing that I can do is plant an idea inside of your heads that might at some point in the future make you change something that you do. And so I want to plant an idea in your head today that was recently planted inside of mine. But my manager says that I need to get more views and I can get more views by talking about something that's SEO relevant. That's, that stands for search engine optimization. So I'm going to also talk about Chick-fil-A. Where does all the garbage go, folks? Part of our daily perception of reality is that this disappears from our world. When you go to the toilet, shit disappears. You flush it, of course, rationally, you know, it's there in canalization and so on. But at a certain level of your most elementary experience, it disappears from your world. But the problem is that trash doesn't disappear. My brother posted that video on my Facebook wall and I can't stop thinking about it. I mean, logically, of course we know that the garbage has to still exist, it has to go somewhere, but as soon as we put it in that goddamn bin, it's just out of sight, out of mind, down the memory hole. I mean, it's everywhere, there's garbage everywhere. There's probably garbage somewhere in this shot right now. Actually, I don't think there is. I just clean my apartment. I mean, I, I don't know what we need to do about it. I'm just, I'm just trying to plant an idea in your head. Every time you throw something away now, I want you to think down the memory hole. You're not going to be able to not think that now that I planted that idea in your head. Or at least that's the goal of this. Chick-fil-A. The president of Chick-fil-A went on the record in an interview saying that, you know, he's a Christian-run business and they support the traditional family model or something to that effect. What an idiot. That really pisses me off. I'll never again eat at the nearest Chick-fil-A to my current place of residence, which is an hour and a half away, which I would never go to anyway. But I mean, don't people have the right to be an idiot? Doesn't the president of Chick-fil-A have the right to be an idiot? Doesn't Mike Huckabee have the right to be an idiot on Fox News saying that, yeah, we should all go support Chick-fil-A on one specific day because they hate the gays. And don't all the people who hate the gays have the right to be idiots and go and eat at Chick-fil-A on that specific day and get fat and die of diabetes later? Yeah. And in the future, you know, looking back, they're going to look like idiots because they're being idiots. I just don't understand what all the fuss is about. I mean, is it frustrating that uh, this business is going to see you know, uh, much more business because they're bigoted? Yeah, that's really frustrating. But... I don't know. And what do I mean when I say that Chick-fil-A is going to see more business? Well, what I mean is that you know, any business has their specific clientele. They're not trying to win over the hearts and minds of everybody. And uh, Chick-fil-A's main clientele are Christian conservatives. That's where they build uh, their restaurants. That's who goes. Even though it pisses off a whole bunch of people, those aren't people that were you know, frequenting Chick-fil-A anyway. The people who are frequent frequenting Chick-fil-A are the people who are going to frequent it even more because they're like, hey, they hate the gays just like me because we're all idiots. Ah. Idiots. There's nothing I can do to change this situation other than try to plant the idea in your mind that they're idiots. I'm essentially just practicing brainwashing. But brainwashing for good. Like like for the for the betterment of society, not like permanently. But maybe permanent. I mean not what is permanent? Nothing's permanent.